Hey, what's up guys? Guardian here, come to you guys with a new video. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a couple of weeks since we did the trial deck opening of the Toya Ebita deck for Overdress. And it's uh, <laughs> it's been a fun time recently. Um, of course, we recently just had Genesis of the Five Grades come out. And uh, it did get delayed for the UK uh, just by a week, I think. So we didn't have to wait too, too long. But before we get stuck into this, obviously... We're going to need a playmat here to uh, display stuff on. So I have got here my brand new Bastion playmat, which I picked up from Ultimate TCG. And uh, yeah, they are a shop that my friend Jack told me about. And uh, all of a sudden, they had new playmats of uh, some cool stuff from Overdress. And they had a Bastion mat, and I thought it looked really cool. Uh, I think it cost me about £25, which, uh, you know, it's a price tag, but these are pieces of art that artists have drawn uh, for the player map. And the cool thing about these is that they also come with the stitched borders as well, and it's a nice uh, rubber material as well as. Uh, we also have the artist signature down here. So, yep. And over here in the corner, we have this cool little Keta Sanctuary logo as well. So yeah, the mat looks really, really cool, really fantastic, and uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually glad to have this on display for a video for the first time. So I've got a load of stuff uh, to my my left here, and uh, I kind of just want to go through things bit by bit, because uh, yeah, as the title says, this is like my overdress experience so far uh, with the booster set, the trial decks, um, yeah, so let's get stuck into it, shall we? So, as uh, you guys are aware, uh, we started with the uh, start deck. So me and my friends actually played the uh, start decks um, for about a week. Uh, we had like a couple of cards uh, from the sneak peek kits that we got, which I did do a community post for, um, if you saw that. And uh, yeah, we pretty much had like scuffed versions of our decks. Like, for the longest time, I've had like one Alden and one Facade uh, for my Bastion deck, so... Yeah, when I say scuffed versions, I mean scuffed versions. Like, <laughs> we're pretty much using, like, whatever we, we pulled from our packs from the sneak peek um, with whatever else we had left over from, like, the start decks, essentially. So, yeah. But it was fun. Uh, but I will say, after about a week uh, and a few days, it does get a little bit still, and you just want to get your cards, right? You just want to get the cards and uh, upgrade the deck. But before we get to that, there was actually something else that I got uh, not too recently, uh, not too long ago. I actually got another start deck with Yu Yu Kondo. So unfortunately, the curse that I've had ever since I started Vanguard and just playing TCGs in general, really, is that I am still a protagonist Andy, apparently. So the reason I picked up Dragon Empire was because I wanted to play another nation um, outside of Keta, just so I could have like two different things going on. And I didn't really want to go too, too far in terms of, like, what what I did with V was that I stuck with, like, three different clans for the longest time. Then I went back down to two, um, but then I went back up to three towards the end. So I think this time around, I'm just going to focus on two nations. And to be fair, uh, Keta and Dragon Empire are, like, the only two that I really care about. Uh, I'm not really too much of a fan on the other ones, but that's just my personal preference. And, uh, yeah, the reason that I actually picked up Dragon Empire, which uh, you might find unbelievable, but it's because of this guy. It's because of Eugene. Um, <laughs> which, you're probably wondering, why am I playing Eugene? And I'll tell you why. It's because I find it fun. <laughs> That's it. I find Eugene fun to play. It's not necessarily a good deck, um, it can do well if played correctly, but the one main thing about Eugene, I'll just get him out here just so we have him on the screen. The one thing about Eugene that I love is that he reminds me a lot about um, the Garmo Liberator from Break Ride. Um, if you remember Garmo Liberator, it pretty much like his his limit break was essentially you counter blast. I think it was a counter blast three. Uh, or is it CB2? I can't exactly remember, but you essentially called cards on the top of your deck until your rear guard circles got filled up, essentially. Um, and it's kind of similar-esque to Eugene, where he's going to look at a certain amount of cards on the top of your deck, and then you're going to fill your rear guard circles up as best you can. 
But the cool thing is that the cards that you don't want to put on the Rearguard Circle, you can just put those back into the soul and help re refill the soul blast cost for Eugene's skill for another time. So that's pretty cool. So Eugene was like the main reason that I actually wanted to put Dragon Empire together. So of course for that, I had to pick up a start deck to get like the triggers and stuff like that. So I got one of those. But then I actually decided to go a little bit further with that because the one cool thing with the uh, picking stuff up uh, for the set one was the fact that since I've got majority of the cards for the nations anywhere, like whilst trying to build uh, me collection up, so I suppose now would be a good time for me to move these over here and show the booster box that I got. So I was debating whether to do an opening on this or not, but I thought you guys have probably seen loads of them anywhere and uh, yeah. But it would have been cool to like sort of show my reaction and stuff and I've never really done opening videos on the channel but yeah I just wanted to like do it on my own, do it in my own time and you know just enjoy it with friends. So in here uh, we pretty much just have everything um, with the commons and stuff. So we have my Keta Sanctuary commons and my Dragon Empire commons and I've managed to collect uh, pretty much the play sets of all the commons now so these are like everything for each nation. And uh, of course we have the promo here, which you get with the box topper for the box. And these are the Keta Sanctuary sleeves for Toya. Um, I actually got the uh, the Stoic Care ones, which I actually traded to my friend Jordan, because he actually got one of these uh, from the four boxes that he got. He, I think he got like th four, uh, three UU ones, the, uh, the blue one, and he got one of the red one for uh, Keta, so... He held this on uh, onto uh, he held onto this for me, by me, and uh, yeah, we traded uh, we traded for those. So I managed to get the Keta sleeves. I'm probably gonna put these on my ride deck at some point. Just haven't got to that yet. But yeah, these are this essentially all the leftover commons um, that I'm just currently not using at the moment. Like I've got my uh, Coca Beals in my deck at the minute. I'm using three at the f for the time being. Uh, so I have one left over here, basically. So these are just my commons for my nations. But uh, yeah, in terms of opening the box, though, uh, I suppose I could mention some pulls that I got. Um, I did actually get an SP of the Brant Gear Over Trigger, and I've got actually, I've actually got a funny story. Is that the <laughs> the transaction that was made um, on the the Saturday just gone? So my friend uh, my friend Jack um, sold something to my friend Johnny. And I think Johnny bought a card off him for like twenty pounds, but then Johnny used that twenty uh, twenty pounds. Um, oh no, sorry, the other way around. Yeah, uh, Johnny got twenty pounds off Jack, and then Johnny then used the twenty pounds to buy something off my friend Jordan, and then Jordan then used it to buy something off my uh, my friend Neo, and then Neo then bought the Brantgo Over Trigger from me. Um, I think like mine is a couple of quid here. Like I gave him some change because I think it was about eighteen on a uh, card market. So I sold the SP over trigger to Neo, and then I used the twenty pounds to buy some cards off of Jordan. So <laughs> yeah, uh, twenty quid went back and forth uh, between the group, uh, which was rather funny. Um, and then in terms of some other stuff, I think I got like two Zorgas. Uh, I actually got some loose packs as well. Uh, which I should have mentioned. But yeah, I got this as well as like, I think six loose packs that the shop had um, from our locals. And uh, yeah, I got like a couple of Zorgas. Um, I got like a Boba Mine as well, I believe. Uh, yeah, I can't exactly remember everything that I got, but essentially I had enough stuff to trade back and forth with my friends. And uh, I managed to get pretty much majority of the stuff that I was in need of, right? So that's that. So in terms of what I have left over, um, so these are the leftover cards uh, from my pulls. Uh, I have two leftover Marjories here for uh, Dark States. And then I have a couple of rares here um, from the different three nations that I'm not playing. Uh, and then I've just got the promos. And then these are just like spares. Like th these are spare uh, Keta cards that I don't need because all my play sets are in here essentially. Uh, I might hold on to the triggers uh, maybe, but... I'm probably going to have to swap my deck back and forth anyway if I want to play between, like, Bastion and Hexarob, so it is what it is. Uh, then we have Dragon Empire, um, and then we just go back here. Yeah, these are just all spares, like, and these are just all the nations that I just don't play at the back, so that is that. So those are all the leftovers I have, but everything else is essentially what I need. So like I said, all my commons are there, 
Uh, and these are the two leftover hollows that I have for the trade binder. Uh, yeah, two Marjorie's for the trade binder. What what world are we living in? So yeah, so the main cards um, that you're probably wondering where they are is in my decks. So we have uh, my Bastion deck here. I've already showed you Eugene. And then this is just a box to hold all the other rares and hollows I'm just currently not using at the moment. So I've got my uh, Hexrob Sorceresses. I'll just move these up a little bit. So I've got my Hexrob Sorceresses. Uh, so I can play this deck uh, later down the line. Uh, I think what I'm going to do for now, though, is I'm just going to stick with Bastion for a while. And then I'll probably swap over the Hexrob later. Uh, since I kind of do prefer playing the Bastion at the minute. Uh, you're probably wondering why my dragons aren't in the deck right now. Uh, it's because I'm playing the control variant with like the, uh, you know, the swinging sword of judgment and the uh, painkiller angels. So yeah, I'm not using the dragons in that deck since I need the soul blast for those cards instead. Uh, then we've got the witches, the sorceresses. Yeah, it's just all the rares, and then we've got a couple of holographics at the back here. I managed to get some hollow versions of like the ride line stuff. Uh, and then for some Dragon Empire Hollows, uh, I picked up this, <laughs> I picked up an SP Eugene. Uh, my friend Neo had this and, uh, I think I got it off him for like a fiver. So that wasn't too, too bad. Uh, the SPs actually do look really cool. I like how they've like embossed the text a bit as well with like the black on the white. So it like stands out a bit more clearer. Um, but yeah, they're basically just using like the VR texture that we're used to from V series for the SPs. Uh, but it's just really, really nice. Um, in terms of uh, Eugene, though, he looks okay, uh, but it's not too too flashy, in my opinion. It's uh, it's debatable. Uh, now this, Varina Arcs. Um, I pulled one from my box, and I got three from my friend Jordan. So I am thankful that I've got the place of these now, because that was another thing that I thought about, was that, well, since I've got majority of the Dragon Empire stuff anyway... I might just look into building Varina as well, because, you know, I've got the trial deck, um, I've got the stuff here as well, so it's like, the only thing I needed was the, Veli the, the Valientes, and um, I didn't get any, but uh, my friend Jordan did have two, uh, but I said to my friend Jack that he could pick them up for his deck, since he was also making the Varina deck, and I said to him, well, I'll just get them online then, so that's fine. So yeah, I'll I'll just get I'll sort the Varinas uh, the Varina uh, the Varina Valientes out some other time. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting uh, waiting for those. But uh, I'm not in really in a rush because, like I said, I haven't really played Eugene too too much anywhere. So yeah, I'm going to be playing Eugene for a bit, and then when I get sick of him, I'll just swap over to uh, Varina instead. <laughs> so yeah, won't be too long before that happens. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, Eugene is fun, but yeah, it's also fun to win as well so <laughs> you know what i mean so, yeah i uh, got another rare pg as well back here um i've got got all the pgs now for a uh, dragon empire so that's that uh i suppose i'll go over the decks just a little bit here um just so you can see some stuff that i've got since this is basically just going to be a massive update video at this point so uh, i was able to get foil versions of the ride line stuff as well so that's cool um these weren't too much anyway but Managed to get them through trade. Um, and yeah, we've just got the Eugene deck here. Um, I'll just go through it just so you can see kind of what I'm playing with at the moment. Uh, and then I've got the PGs here. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got an SP. I got this from uh, the sneak peek kits that we opened. And uh, I did get a foil version of the PG from the booster box that I got. So yeah, uh, the PGs for Dragon Empire... They're the ones that are getting blinged, uh, unfortunately, instead of the Keta Sanctuary ones. But, you know, one thing I did think of was that if it comes to... Oh, yeah. Okay, before I get to that. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, but, yeah, when it comes to, like, trading and such, um, if I do find someone that has, like, cards that I need for, like, Keta Sanctuary, I don't mind, like, trading these, right? So, like, if someone's after the SP or the Hollow of this, I can, like, just trade them for, like, the Keta version, for the Ketas, and then replace these with like the rare right because i've got a spare rare so i could always do that right so that's cool uh but yeah, i've got the crits and uh okay let's talk about this shall we <laughs> let's talk about this so this was the over trigger that i pulled from my box and i was happy with it right because i needed either the, Dra the dragon empire one or the cat one because i needed both of my decks now this is good don't get me wrong this is good to see however the Keta Sanctuary Overtrigger, no one 
has pulled any. No one. There has been boxes opened. Uh, I do believe one of my friends has got one, uh, but they're from a further distance. So I'm not exactly too sure when I'm going to actually be able to get that. But in the t for the time being, uh, since the decks at the minute are actually being played with in person, um, I have actually purchased one uh, from Card Market for the time being. But the good thing is that I do technically need two copies of the Ketawong since I do play United Sanctuary technically in premium. So I do need two. So I've just bought the one for now just so I can actually play with it, you know, in person uh, rather than waiting just a really long time, right? So yeah, I've got patience, but you know, I've all, I'm also like, <laughs> I want the cards as soon as I can get them, right? Because I actually want to be playing with them in person, right? So I don't want to be waiting too, too long. But I am happy that I got the drag veg, uh, the drag Vedda for the uh, Dragon Empire. Uh, really cool. So it's kind of funny how like Eugene is like the first foot deck I've actually fully built. Uh, but to be fair, the the cards are so cheap for Eugene anyway. It's like. Can you imagine this deck becoming good at some point in the future? And then all of a sudden, it's like, you know, price spikes start happening for <laughs> with like the Eugene cards. That's going to be funny. Uh, but that's kind of one of the reasons that we uh, actually built the deck. Like me and some friends actually own Eugene decks. Like I think it's me, Jack, uh, Johnny, and I believe there's someone else. Um, yeah, we're, we're kind of creating like a little uh, a little club, shall we say, of uh, Eugene fo uh, loyalists in that, you know, he needs a bit of love. Like, Eugene needs a little bit of love, and uh, we will give him that love. You know, we will respect him. You know, he's, uh, he's a struggling card, and he needs some support to help push him through. So that's that. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's going to just be really funny if, like, Eugene gets some great support in the future, and then all of a sudden he's, like, you know, <laughs> actually being a lot more relevant than he is now. Let's just put it that way. So that is that. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'll probably play this for like a month or so and then like swap over to the Varina deck at some point in the future. Now let's go over the Keta stuff. Um, so yeah, as you can imagine, the main goal for Keta was getting these, the Aldens. I am so happy to have these. Um, yeah, I, I had one game against my friend Johnny um, and I started using these, and oh my god, the deck feels just so much nicer to play now. It's, you know, when you play a scuffed version of your deck for a while, it's uh, it's nice to actually have the upgraded cards. So yeah, uh, I've only got three facades at the minute, still waiting for one um, in the mail. So that's fine. Uh, like I said, I'm playing the control variant with the Sword of Judgment at the moment, so that's kind of why I'm not playing the Dark Strain Dragons. Uh, I've got the Painkiller Angels as well. Oh, fun fact, by the way. Uh, I was talking. I was talking to a friend called Matty, and he told me that you can actually use Alden to just call any card from your hand uh, to Rhea, and if it's Grade Three, you draw two. So that means that if you are clogged with some orders in your hand, you can technically call these, but game mechanics will just retire it. So that's actually pretty cool if you do have an ex an abundance of orders in your hand that are just like if this is not too too relevant in the matchup you're against if the one for one exchange isn't that good for you or you just don't have the grade three in soul you can just call it down with the alden just get your draws like if you don't have any other grade threes uh to call down with him that are useful you can do that instead so that's kind of actually pretty cool how you can still use the draw skill with him even by calling the orders which is pretty nice so, yeah, we've got the painkillers, the perfect guards. Um, managed to get my fourth one off Jordan because uh, I almost forgot about mentioning that one <laughs> towards the end of the day on Saturday. Uh, using draws at the minute, but I'm not too sure if I wanted to go over to front triggers at the moment. Uh, I've seen a mixture of like fronts and draws being played. So, But right now, I'm much more of a fan on draws just because I like that extra consistency. Uh, like I said, I'm still waiting for the Keter over trigger, so that's that. And then I do have like a foil heal trigger as well. I actually noticed the other day that the the difference between these foils is that they actually don't have the text box down here. So that's actually pretty cool. It, it makes it a little bit more full art in that way. And uh, I do have the uh, two copies of the critical trigger in foil right there. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, uh, got bits and bobs. Um, the decks are a lot more, <laughs> are looking a lot more finished than they were originally. But it did take some time. Uh, to get the bits and pieces uh, for everything uh, sorted out. But I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Um, so in terms of deck profiles, uh, expect to see some deck profiles for these. 
uh, sometime next month where I go over them a little bit more in depth rather than just like, you know, just going over the cards essentially. Uh, we've got the promo thing here from the set, the sleeves. Um, yeah, we've got like the foils and stuff, the rares. For those are the left, uh, the cards that I'm just not using at the moment. These are my trade bait things. And uh, yeah, of course, I'm using my Toya and uh, UU sleeves, each respectively, for the decks. And uh, yeah, I also decided to uh, go out of my way. Um, <laughs> hold on. Um, yeah, can I show this actually? Let's see. Oh, yeah. So, oh, actually, I think I put them. Did I put them over here? I think I did. Uh, yeah, so because I wanted the foils of like Bastion, um, of course, I got multiples of the trial decks. So, like, this is like a massive pile of like Bastion uh, start deck stuff, which is a thing. But I also wanted the foil chickens for Nirvana. So now I have a massive pile of Nirvana stuff as well. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think my Nirvana stuff, uh, it might be in the box, actually. Let me just double check. I think I put them in here. I don't think I did, actually. Yeah, they must be in here because I don't know where else they'll be. So, yeah, because this is the pile of cards that I'm not using at the moment. Yeah, so I got the... I got the foil Nirvanas uh, from the start deck. Since, you know, the start decks are cheap enough anyway, so I thought, why not? Um, but yeah, we've got foil, foil Chicken Boy, which is very nice. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, that's basically an update to where I've been. So I haven't done a video in a few weeks. And uh, yeah, so far, uh, I haven't played too, too many games of Overdress physically um, in terms of, like, the full decks. Uh, I've pretty much been playing, like, scuffed versions of the decks, and I've only recently just got my hands on, like, the main cards that I need for my decks. So, yeah. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, tell me, guys, your experiences and some stories from you, uh, from any sets that you've opened up, uh, any of the packs that you've opened up from the set, uh, some pulls that you got, maybe. And, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update video, and I will catch you guys later with some deck files and some other potential content. So, yeah, stay tuned, and like always, guys, this is going to be Guardian Tier 5, signing out.